layover in Las Vegas, and Las Vegas always reminds me of Thomas Edison, who didn't invent but perfected the incandescent light bulb. And the light bulb was such a good idea, it actually became the symbol for having an idea. <laughs> How amazing is that? I just wonder if he saw Las Vegas at night, which is all, it's an almost pornographic display of electric light, would he be proud or embarrassed? It's a little gaudy, it's a little too much, don't you think? We take for granted the ubiquity of personal computers and cell phones and iPods, all the electronic devices that we carry. We're so attached to them, we're almost cyborgs. And people grumble about that, having to turn them off on the, on the flight, even though we only have to turn them off for a few minutes, they're like, Arr. it's like losing a limb, you know? Um, cell phones are something that I was a late adopter of. I resisted, I thought they were annoying or that people with them tended to be annoying. I didn't like overhearing all these conversations. I still don't like that, really. I was at the airport, there was a guy two gates over talking so loud, all I could think is, he almost doesn't need a telephone. <laughs> Do you not understand? We're gonna broadcast the signal for you. You don't have to shout it from the mountaintop like his last phone was a Dixie cup and string. There have been advances. Um, <laughs> cell phones are getting so small too. Um, where's that gonna lead, you know? Little Star Trek thing right here on the breast. I, ultimately, they'll probably be implanted at birth, you know? Um, they'll list your carrier right on your birth certificate. <laughs> Mother, father, service provider. <laughs> Do you want to know if it's a boy or a girl? No, but we want Verizon. <laughs> Will she be able to talk to other Verizon children for free? <laughs> it's not always good to be the first to discover something, like Windows Vista, for instance. <laughs> <laughs> Frontiers can be dangerous, ask Marie Curie who coined the term radioactivity at a price. Um, but with all things we must ask, do the benefits outweigh the costs? And then we have to ask, were the benefits weighed on Jupiter and the costs on Mars? Because <laughs> that's how they get you sometimes. You have to pay attention to the small print. And what if they use nanotechnology to create the small print, then what? Is that fair, really? Isn't that a little too fine? <laughs>